you guys are basketball enthusiasts you like this is the only land and we are here to unbox a sneaker today um, do me a favor before we get into that hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you like what you've seen before or you like to see today and today we are getting into these right here this is the box for the Zion 2's and I know it's been a minute I know I said I was gonna get a hold of these um, but I kind of just gave up at, at, at some point you gotta give up right you just gotta take the colorway that they're offering um, just not everything is going to show up with what you want. So I have the ugliest pair of these Ion 2s to unbox. <laughs> And I, I'm sorry I'm killing the shoe already. Uh, I know before when the images first came out, I killed the shoe. I said they look like a chunky 90 shoe, and they still do. Like that, in my opinion on that hasn't changed. But I can't. This I can already feel it, and I I don't believe I touched them before I grabbed them. Um, I can feel that it's not that. Those shoes were just thick. I, I'm I'm being Captain Walking back right now. Honestly, I'm I'm walking my opinion back. They still look like what they look like, but I, I think they'll perform a little bit better than that. Um, but this is the ugliest colorway so far to come out. I wanted the purple colorway really bad. I'll throw an image, image up of that. I planned to get it when I was in Italy, and I just, I just didn't get them. So hopefully, um, by the time I'm done performance testing the last two that I'm, uh, by the time I'm performance testing what I'm performance testing now, um, another colorway will come out, and I'll be able to send this one back and get another one. But if not, it's looking like it's going to be these, uh, which is tragic, but hey, it is what it is. Um, but let's get into the shoe, and it's no, not really a point to go into the box. We have essentially, if I'm looking at it, the same box. Is, is the other box half? Yeah, it's the same box. It's, and I'm looking at the Zion ones behind me. It, they, they didn't put in any effort, and that was, that was my main issue with his signature sneaker, right? We're talking about... Some of this you guys signed before he even got on, like, you, you made him a shoe before he even stepped onto an NBA court, and you put in minimal effort, of what it seems to me. Um, but let me just put one down. Um, so for the traction here, um, we have, like, a, it's a multi-directional pattern, and then obviously it's got some storytelling in the middle there. It says Zion, um, or that's his, that's his logo which, like I said, does say Zion. Um, I do feel like it's going to be good um, laterally. Um, like, if you're stopping this way, I don't know how, how great it's going to be going this way because the pattern does go along with it, right? It's not a herringbone where it's zigzagged and it uh, helps with left and right and uh, forward and back. Um, I mean, we'll see. I, I, I mean, it can't really... I don't want to say it can't really get much worse as if that was one of the worst tractions ever, but it definitely wasn't one of the greatest. And it was, from from what I put in my last video uh, for the performance test for the Zion 1, and I'll put that up here somewhere if you guys want to watch that, it was inconsistent. You know, like, it was hit or miss. One day it was good, one day it wasn't, one day it was good, one day it wasn't. So, um, I believe, hopefully, this will be a little bit better. Um, but one of the main differences in, in this is cushioning. Um, for the cushioning, as opposed to what they did in the last one, um, they split it up. And I'm for this part, I'm gonna read specifically what they put in the press release. Um, essentially, what they wanted to do was seg segment the shoe into three different areas. Um, the heel was for impact resistance. The middle was for resilience and containment, and the toes for comfort and mobility. And I mean, I don't really know where this concept came from. I'm sure he wore the sneaker and he tested the sneaker, but he was he, he was injured. He didn't really wear the Zion ones. He was injured, um, and I don't know if he was back in time to really test these before they put these out. So it's it's a little interesting. Like who was wearing these sneakers to test them? Like it, it was just a random person. Like it wasn't really Zion. That's, that's what I think, right? I don't I don't know. So someone. If someone from Nike wants to tell me and correct me, feel free, but I don't know. Um, it says that Zion 2 introduces a new concept that decouples the strobel, shifting it from full length unit to a focus on the heel. 
So essentially what that means is that they split it, right? So they kind of cut it. It's not a full length, like they said. It's only in the heel. Um, and I believe I can take it out. Um, I can take out the insole and you guys can see that. So just give me one second while I do that. So like I was saying, you can literally see it and I will give you guys images of that, obviously better images. Um, but you can literally see where it's split up. So yeah, around the, the midfoot area is where they cut it off and you have the struggle in the back. And then in the front, what you have is a, let's see here, uh, zoom air. So you have zoom air in the forefoot and a strobel in the heel area. And it says, uh, shifting it from a full length unit to a focus on the heel, allowing for 20% more zoom air on the forefoot, thus increasing responsiveness. So I guess um, what he had in the last shoe, for the small amount of time he was wearing it, he, he wasn't really feeling, I guess it was, I'm assuming it's like court feel, like he, he didn't he didn't feel the court enough, and I didn't, I didn't get that feeling from it at all. As a matter of fact, what I've got was that it kind of disappeared, like after a while, maybe he didn't play it enough, but after a while I didn't really feel the cushioning, like it was, it like died to me, which, which, is, which was a weird feeling, uh, but I felt like it was comfortable in the beginning, if I'm, not mistaken, I felt like it was comfortably getting and then I felt like it kind of just died out on me and I didn't really feel it much after that. Um, so, and smoother, more comfortable landing on the heel following an explosive dunk. So the heel, heel area was mostly for dunks. I guess maybe he was having some heel pain and this is obviously just me making my assumptions based off of what they put in the press release. Um, it says, with explosiveness comes a need for containment. Design 2 is built with a per performance capsule which wraps high up the foot and a four foot strap that works in tandem with the lacing system for optimal support. Uh, in total, the Tega Design 2 makes a statement, time to power up and lock new levels, and obviously that last part is just like something from Zion, right? He's kind of a nerd, he likes comics and stuff like that, um, and that's not a bad thing, I'm, I'm the same way. Um, but this is like very thick, I don't know how that is gonna perform. Um, I've already heard a complaint that it's possible that you know, maybe this capsule uh, doesn't allow for the um, the zoom air in there to expand, which kind of kind of kind of makes it pointless, right? Um, but we'll find out with that. Uh, that feels weird. I just put my hand in there. I haven't, I, like I said, I haven't put these on feet yet. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get another pair, um, but we we shall see on that. Um, and I'm hoping it's, it's a little bit more comfortable, right? The, the, the strap I do like, I get it. It says Zoom Air on there. You know, that's cool. Um, I commented on all that in the the, uh, the sneak peek images or whatever the video was that I put out, and I'll put that up here as well. Um, I commented on, on what they had in the, or what I thought was in the sneaker because there just wasn't enough information out. Um, but it, it doesn't look bad. And these are a lot lighter than I thought they would be, like I said. Um, when I showed you guys, I showed you guys these. I showed you guys some kamikazes. Um, and th this is a light pair of kamikazes, like I said, because kamikazes is usually all leather. And this had some type of a, like, I don't know, wool material on there, like a wool knit material. And these are these are light. These are, these are not a heavy sneaker. I don't think they're gonna be bulky. I don't think they're gonna be like some Kyrie's. These are not gonna be um, a sneaker where you're just moving really fast, in my, in my opinion. Um, they still feel like a little, like kind of bulky in the heel. Like this heel is 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 very bulky, um, but that that's what it is, right? It's a sneaker. Um, I did. They look a little bit like they're uh, inspired by the 13. Like you can see the the shape shape wise, and I I'll, I'll give you guys an image of what the heel of the 13 look like. Um, it, it looks like it's inspired a little bit by um, other Jordans, but. That I'm not sure of. I don't wear a ton of different types of Jordans. Like after 11, I don't own a pair or anything after 11 to be honest with you. And I'm not that I'm not interested, but there's just like a very limited amount of sneakers and it's specific colorways that I'm even interested in. Um, I'm more like I'm colorway driven when it comes to uh, like uh, my casual sneakers. Colors are what gets me. Less of the sneaker model specifically. Um, but I don't. I don't feel like I need to really go into the colorway here. Like you guys can see, like this this looks like it's a 90s inspired type of colorway. You got highlighters all over the place, right? Highlighter pink, uh, this uh, highlighter green, and like 
a, a bubble gum blue or something like that. Like, what, what's the what's the colors that it has on this? Oh, and then on the back it says like let's dance. Like it, it doesn't say what this color was inspired by, or maybe it did and I missed that because I just wasn't interested in the color at all. It says um, white, vault, black dynamics, um, and turquoise, uh, which is weird. It doesn't mention the pink at all, but. I don't know, I got these in my size, I just walked in right into the full locker, and I was able to grab these, um, but, like I said, I'm hoping for another color, but that's pretty much it, um, I will go into detail, uh, on the sneaker when the performance review comes out, there are a couple, like, details on here, like, it shot the world on the, on the tongue here, and, um, N-B-L-Y-Y-D-Y on the, uh, on the midfoot there, but, you guys can see it, right? There's, I, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm uninspired by this color. <laughs> it does say air strobe on the back there. It says air strobe on the back of the left one, and let's dance in the back of the right one. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not opposed to this colorway. I'm looking at it now. It's not the worst colorway uh, ever, but it's, it's definitely, it's definitely the worst colorway to come out so far, and I don't think that can be debated, to be honest. Or maybe it's just me, right? Maybe it's just my thing. But that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. But if you like what you've seen before, or you like what you see today, and performance view hopefully coming very soon. This is the only thing I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one.